So we talk a lot about attachment styles like their personality traits, anxious, avoidant, secure, but underneath they're just patterns of stress and safety. And through the lens of psychoneuroimmunology, attachment isn't just about how you love, it's about how your body learns to predict danger. So as anxious attachment, for instance, often lives in a body that's been running high alert for years, immune markers that mirror chronic inflammation, stress hormones that spike with uncertainty. So people pleasing and emotional suppression, they're physiological regulation strategies. They are ways to calm the system through predictability and approval. The problem is what starts as adaptive becomes automatic and the immune system memorizes these patterns. And that's why some healing work feels like it's happening in your head, but the signals are actually stored deeper in the body's prediction loops. That's the bridge I wanna build, where attachment meets immunology and relationship work starts to look more like body literacy.